Hello, it's Nat. It's time to take a look at what's making news. It's no secret that people really love pets. Oh, that's my dog Molly. And right now, pet adoption is booming as more of us are forced to stay home as a result of COVID-19. For the last couple of weeks, I've literally been coming into work every day and showing my producer Matt animals I'd like to adopt. She really has. I think you should start with this, though. I'm not the only one with pets on my mind. RSPCA's around the country have been adopting out lots of animals. We're really pleased to say that over a 10-day period, we adopted out nearly 560 animals. You see, people want a new best friend to keep them company during a time when we're all being told to stay home, especially when things can be a bit overwhelming. There are many reports out there that tell us how good animals are for our health and our own well-being. The company that we get from our furry friends is giving a lot of us a relief right now. This is our new pet cat, Potato. We recently adopted her from RSPCA. She's just really nice and affectionate. Our family adopted a kitten and we called it Meowie. They sure help us, but many animals need our help right now. Shelters are still looking for new homes for animals and giving owners all the support they can, like by giving away pet food, looking after the furry friends who are looking after us. And sticking with our four-legged friends now, ABC animated series Bluey has won an international Emmy. The Blue Healer pup and her family took out the Kids Preschool Award. But it's not just a huge hit at the Emmys. Bluey is the most watched program in ABC iView history. Kale, what do you mean we're going on a bear hunt? We're going to catch a big one? You've probably noticed a few teddy bears popping up in people's houses lately. Well, you see, it's all part of a worldwide bear hunt. Oh, bear hunt. I get it now, yeah. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure for a big surprise. And if you go out in the street today, make sure you open your eyes. Cause you'll probably see a bunch of teddy bears. This is my teddy bear, Rocco. I put him up to create a little bit more happiness for the people who are going on walks. Now, no one really knows where it started, but stacks of houses all over the world have been putting teddy bears in their windows for a worldwide bear hunt. You see, about one third of the world is in lockdown because of COVID-19. So these teddy bears have been getting up to some mischief. There's been some that are small and some that are large, some that are tall and some are in charge. And even New Zealand's Prime Minister has been getting involved. If you're in Wellington and, and you're walking in the local neighbourhood, you might see one in my window. The teddies have been bringing back a little bit of joy to lots of kids stuck inside. People can join the fun of playing the bear hunt game and we can bring cheer people up during this difficult time. So when it comes to COVID-19, we can't go over it we can't go under it, we'll just have to go through it. Alright, now sadly, the last bit of the show has been cancelled. No cute animals today. No funny videos. Ah, April Fools! Had to get that bit in there somewhere. It's actually time for animals being a bit weird. Here in this difficult to pronounce town in Wales, these goats now rule the streets. Stay indoors, everyone. They're coming for you and your hedges. Kashmiri goats were given to the area as a gift from Queen Victoria many, many years ago. And they don't usually come into town like this, but with all the empty streets and delicious grass, hey, why not? A zoo in Southwest China has reopened its doors to visitors. And what was on show? Well, four giant panda cubs, of course. Panda cubs who were fascinated with plastic toys. Ugh, I wonder how heavy pandas are. Maybe he's just really strong. Man, being that cute must be exhausting. Speaking of being cute, you gotta see this next one. This little rockhopper penguin, whose name is Wellington, popped by to say hello to some of his aquarium neighbours. Fun fact, these beluga whales are actually native to the Northern Hemisphere, whereas most penguins are native to the Southern Hemisphere, meaning they would never actually meet in the wild. But here they are, getting along like best mates. Or maybe that beluga's just hungry. Hard to tell. All right, that's all we've got for today, but hey, we'll be back again tomorrow with more. Stay safe. <laughs>